Hello everyone, this is Southern Bell Whisper. I hope you all are doing well today and that you had a wonderful July 4th. This is going to be my top 10 video for this week. It took a lot of soul searching and research, but I finally clicked in my head last night. I was listening to music late last night. You guys saw the, uh, the earbuds that I got. And I didn't even know he was doing this, but one of my favorite artists was re-releasing his uh, album. I think he said it was the five year anniversary of that album, which was called Hotel Diablo. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about yet, I'm talking about Machine Gun Kelly. And I've got my Prime with me. They just released this new flavor about a month ago. It's strawberry and banana. I, I'm a big fan of Prime. I know they can be a little dangerous for you, so I, I rarely drink them. But since the July 4th I had and I still feel a little hungover, these are miracle workers. And this one is really I think I mentioned to you guys before, I'm not a huge, I'm actually not a rap fan. I don't like rap music these days. I don't like, like all the cussing and all the vulgar and sexual endo. I just, I don't like any of that. But the first time I ever heard a song by MGK, it was See My Tears and my ex played it for me. And I don't know what I was doing that night. Maybe I've been drinking or smoking or whatever I had done. I actually sat down and listened to what he was saying. And I was like, whoa. I was like, he wrote that? I thought at the time that was one of the best songs I'd ever heard because I actually sat down and listened to the words that he was singing. And from that point on, I've always been a huge fan of his. His music has healed a part of my soul that I thought was broken forever. Like, I am a huge fan. If he's not my favorite, then he's definitely top three. I, like I said, I listened to the re-release of uh, songs from Hotel Diablo last night and they were like the sad versions so they were like this even slower versions of the songs that he released on that album and I laid in bed and I cried my freaking eyes out you guys like holy moly <laughs> I know people out there they're either an Eminem fan are there an MGK fan because of that beef that Eminem and MGK had? I don't hate Eminem, but when it comes to music, MGK, MGK definitely speaks to me more than Eminem ever has. Eminem was my ex's favorite rap artist, but where it actually comes to the lyrics and the music and the way it speaks to you, MGK is definitely a favorite. Um, he does like to cuss a little bit, and there is a little bit of endo in his music, but mostly it's just him being awesome. So I decided to do a top 10 favorites of his songs. I know I did a Taylor Swift top 10, and that one was really popular. And I know I did a, t a top 10 music songs I've been listening to now, but that felt like a decade ago. I look back on it and I'm like, girl, what, what, what are you even talking about? Like, I'm like, what? Like, that's just sad. That, that, that video just makes me sad now. I swear this healing journey, you guys. I look back at some of my journal entries, or I look back on past videos, and I'm like, who is that girl, you know? But, oh, by the way, this is the dress that I wore for July 4th. 
My favorite part is this. This is by far one of the most beautiful dresses that I've ever owned. It is going to go down as one of my all-time favorites because it's it's absolutely gorgeous and it fits perfectly and it's just I just think it's so beautiful and I found this on Team Moon. just love it. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing a top 10 of my favorite Machine Gun Kelly songs. And, um, yeah. I just really love him. I do. I love his music. I'll probably get off of this video once I'm done and go and listen to his music on the porch. So, and it is mostly sad music, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he has done a lot of rock songs and he's done a lot of songs that aren't as sad as some of his music but I like the sad songs I like most of most of the songs on this list are sad songs but I love them more than the rock and the you know the happy go lucky music he makes because I think he lets us see a side of him that he doesn't want to really that he's okay with showing us because I've, I know he deals with um, like mental stuff like in the head type things and to be honest I worry about him all the time but um, I, he just seems so sad to me sometimes and that makes me sad it's the empath in me you guys I can't help it Okay, let's just get to the list. Let's not talk about how much I love MGK. Let's just get to the list. Number one is Glass House. This song is sung by him and Naomi Wild. Now, funny thing about this song. The fast version, yes, it's really good. But the version that he re-released re uh, a couple days ago, on that Hotel Diablo. See, most of the songs he re-released are called the sad versions. And um, I listened to all of them last night when I was laying in bed. I just popped my earphones in and I was like, okay, this is going to be something special. And I think he's re released like four of the songs from that album as sad versions, but number one is Glass House, you guys. I last night I listened to this song at least 10 times like I listened to it and then I restarted it and listened to it and restarted it at least 10 times and I'm not even exaggerating and it made me cry my eyes out you guys like this song is something special seriously in the sad version they, they slow it down even more than the original and you, I don't know how to explain it, the sad versions of these songs, they slow it down for you so the words and the, the lyrics speak to you more. I really, I really do feel like they did it for that reason. Um, because, whew, you guys, that song destroyed me last night in the best way, though. But it's called Glass House. Uh, with Naomi Wild, and I definitely recommend the sad version. Uh, unless you want to listen to the fast version first, and then listen to the sad version, but I much prefer the sad version that was just re-released recently. Number two is also another song from that re-released album, and that was I Think I'm Okay with Him in Youngblood. Uh, same thing with that version, the the slowed down, sad version of the song is just completely different from the, you know, upbeat, fast version of the song. It was, oh gosh, and uh, I just really love that video. He just, he looks really good in that video. Number three is Paper Cuts. This is one of uh, Machine Gun Kelly's rock songs because a lot of people 
said um, that Eminem ruined him, that now he's trying to find what Janier to go to. I don't think Eminem ruined him at all. I think he's just trying to find his place where it pertains to music. I believe he can do anything. I believe he can sing rap. I believe he can sing rock. And I believe he can sing country. Oh my gosh, you guys. That song is on the list too. And let me tell you how happy it made me. Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to the song on the list. But I do like love a lot of his rock songs and Travis Barker on those drums on with paper cuts oh my gosh like oh, awesome number four is smoke and drive this song he did during the pandemic in his car him and Pete Davidson oh my gosh it was almost like acapella like all they they didn't really have much. They were just sitting in the car smoking and singing that song. And I love, I love Smoke and Drive. Love it. Loved it during the pandemic. And I love it now. Number five is, of course, Alpha Omega. Um, <laughs> this one is a guilty pleasure of mine. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's one of his older songs, and where he riffs on that one part, and he's, I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> he looked fine in that video, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have a thing about tattoos now, ain't that weird? Now that I've gotten a tattoo, I have a thing for, for men that have tattoos. Kelly, you're not a bad girl. Stop it. But, I, yeah, I love that song. I love the rift in the middle where just amazing. Just, oh. <laughs> Number six is Rap Devil. This is when him and Eminem were having that beef. And he came back at Eminem. Um, I think, no. I thought he was coming back at Eminem. But maybe, maybe... This started it, and then Eminem came back at him, and people feel like Eminem ruined MGK's career, and I don't believe that for one second, but I love Rap Devil. I love, um, what? Roasting. Like, when people are roasting somebody in, in a song, I freaking love it. It makes me laugh. I mean, I think... If it was anybody else, let's say if it was MGK doing Rap Devil for, gosh, see everybody is such fans of like, you know, Jay-Z and Kanye West, so I can't really say that. I'm trying to think of another, maybe newer rap artist. I can't even think off the top of my head. If it had been any other rap artist that he beefed with, I think he would have won because that rap devil was amazing. I'm going to have to listen to it when I get off of this video. Seriously. I thought he did a great job. Like I said, if it had been any other artist, he probably would have won that beef, but uh, it was Eminem. Eminem is considered one of the best rap artist of all time. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm a big fan of Rap Devil. Number se seven is another rock song, and that is Forget Me Too with him and Halsey. Um, happy, you know, song. Kind of mad song, too, where you can pretend to belt it out. Um, song. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Halsey too, so I think they mesh well, really, really well. I think they mesh really well. Number eight is My Ex's Best Friend. Don't ask me why I love this song so much. Maybe it's the video. I love his guitar in that video where it's pink and uh, I don't know why I love that song so much. I just think it has a good beat to it. I just love him. And you can I do. I can't tell you why I love that song so much. 
but why am I in a good mood? I love listening to it. Number nine, this popped up on my Facebook the other day, and it was him doing a cover of a Zach Bryan song called Sun to Me. Oh my word, you guys. I was like, is MGK going country? Because Post Malone, he is another one of my favorite rap artists. And he recently transitioned into country. And if MGK goes into country, I mean, my dreams will come true. <laughs> because uh, that was two of my ex's favorite two of his favorites are MGK and Post Malone. I've already got Post Malone, so come on MGK, come on over to the dark side. Um, but no, seriously, I believe MGK can literally sing anything he wants. It doesn't matter which in here it is. But I love Sun to Me. Like, it was just him and his guitar, and I was like, mm, is it getting hot in here, or is it just me? You know, it was just so freaking beautiful. I love his voice. I love his gravelly voice. I just think he has such a raw, gravelly tone to his voice. I don't know if you guys remember when um, Lee DeWise won American Idol. He never went anywhere, of course. But I ruined it for him through the whole thing because of his voice. Daughtry, same thing. Chris Daughtry, same thing. I love that gravelly, pure, just look inside my soul tone of voice. And, gosh, you guys. I love his music so much. And number 10 is See My Tears. That had to go on the list because that was the first song that I ever heard of MGK's ever. So I had to put that on. Yeah, this prime is a really good strawberry banana. I've always been a big fan of strawberry banana flavored things. So, this was the 60th time that I've done this video, so I'm hoping. I've done good so far, but, yeah, I can only honestly say that MGK music, MGK's music has really healed a part of me that I thought was broken forever. It speaks to me. I just, I sound like one of those girls on the video of See My Tears, where they're like, oh, your music means so much to me, man where she's just crying because she gets to meet him and she's like, it, it means so much I'd probably be the same way if I ever got to meet him I doubt it, but um, I just I love his music and that's probably going to shock you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember I'm going to be doing my Bible study video tomorrow for Sunday, so Please remember to tune in, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you tomorrow.